All clean and organized. Uh, just got, took all the power washing equipment, put all that back, and uh, hey guys, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. Um, I just want to report that um, I found out this morning. That the video I uploaded yesterday, and I had that random conversation with you guys about young people, and uh, you know, I asked you know you guys to chime in on uh, what you think the problem with young kids today are. Now, here, of course, obviously, everybody should know by now that they uh, found Gabby's body, and she is deceased. Uh, as of this morning, uh, this is the young couple that traveled from New York doing the van life thing and uh, Utah, you know, Arizona, Colorado, all the sites, you know, they took pictures and uh, uploaded videos to their uh, subscribers uh, uh, chronologically, uh, you know, uh, uh, categorizing a cat their, their, their journey and their travels. So now it's... One, 10 minutes after one in the afternoon. Now, I have not listened to the radio. I have not uh, updated myself on what the current condition is, but the information that I've got so far, and a lot of you have already told me first thing this morning, I saw your comments, that they did find her body, or at least it matches the description of the young woman uh, mentioned in the video during that traffic stop in Utah, and they found her body in Wyoming in a campsite and another YouTube blogger uh, also was up in that area two weeks prior uh, before the incident uh, became national. Uh, the, you know, the, the, the couple missing, the girl missing, uh, Gabby was missing, that they had a video of the van. They actually were there in Wyoming at that place. And then apparently uh, they went out hiking or did something and something happened to her. He came back, jumped in the van and went to Florida. But that video is out there where that van is parked, uh, where the, 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 in the, the same area that Gabby was found. So here we go. You know, a tragic ending to a, a young 22-year-old woman 
and now the boyfriend is uh, in Florida uh, hiding in a swamp that's got 80 miles, you know, 80 square miles, and half of it's flooded. They said it'd be a month. It could be a month before they find the guy or get lucky and just stumble upon the guy. Now, you have to ask yourself one question. How in the world do people get themselves in so much shit uh, with each other, you know, especially if you're engaged and you proclaim that you're in love with somebody, that um, it gets to the point now to where you, and this is alleged now, alleged, of course, that they, they can't prove he hasn't, He's just a person of interest to uh, prove that he murdered her. But my gut feeling is, I this is what I'm going to say publicly on my channel. I think uh, she's dead and she was murdered and she was murdered by him. And that's her fiance. And that's just my gut feeling. I could be totally wrong, uh, but that's my gut feeling. And once the autopsy, all that information has uh, been released to the public, they'll they'll know more. Because really, uh, they're, they're like they said this morning, they're not sure how she died, but that's an ongoing investigation. So, you know, when I was growing up as a kid, I did, I don't know any anyone that I knew, anyone, and we knew hundreds and hundreds of kids when we were army brats with the military. I mean, hundreds, and we just never heard of anybody committing suicide anybody committing murder and I know the internet wasn't up then they wasn't invented in those days there was no cell phones you know we didn't even have TV uh, most of the time uh, so yeah our information was local stuff but still we did hear national news when it when it did come out over the armed forces radio but through all the years that I've been alive I, I, I've just known people who have died strictly by accident, like a motorcycle accident, uh, a car accident. Uh, those are, but murder, we never saw murder. But now, here we got on the news in Durham, which is the next county over. This is Orange County. Durham's the next county. Durham right now has a massive spike in murders. There is a, there's a, a murder committed every single day in Durham. Now, that's not good for the reputation of the city. So, you know, what can I say? We're, you know, there's a lot of people out there losing their minds. And, and, and I'm really wondering why. You know, why are so many people, why, why is there so much mental health issues? You know, now I hear the, 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 the term, even from some of my best friends who are just kidding around, that they're going to take a mental health day. <laughs> a mental health day? Really? Come on. Are you kidding me? Um, you know, this is something that your mind should be stable. It should be, it, it, you should always be within your own self to the point where you under, understand your feelings and your emotions so well that you could predict the outcome of, of, of everything on a daily on a daily basis, you know. Yeah, you might run into the occasional idiot, but the bottom line is that uh, you know I've got response mechanisms that can deal with pretty much anybody from the most you know harmless little individual to the most aggressive asshole on the planet. I already know how I'm, I'm going to react to those people and, and 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 the corrective action I'll take in those situations because I've been in so many of them. I think a lot of it has to do with the lack of inexperience. You know, they've, kids today are sheltered. They're so sheltered. And then with the influence of social media constantly pounding all this negative crap, you know, inclusion, king, queen, you're a king, you know, you're a queen, you know, all this, you know, this is, you should be right here the day you were born, you know, right on the top of the shit heap. But it just doesn't work that way, folks. There's, there's a lot of times when, you know, life will kick you in the ass, more, more so than not. So I just wanted to bring you this video because I'm, I'm kind of sad today about that, you know. This beautiful young girl, okay, she, so she had OCD, she had some little issues, you know, but she did not deserve to die. Okay, leave those comments. I'll talk to you guys later.